Uh, first, I just want to say thank you for joining our online webinar and stay with us, uh, especially during this pandemic. Uh, I hope you all are doing well. Um, and make sure you stay safe. So I will be hosting today's webinar. Uh, by the way, I'm Jeremy, the technical engineering manager here at Rhino. So if you guys have any questions, please type them in the chat session. Uh, Josh and I will take care of those questions at the end of the webinar. Uh, and of course, you are more than welcome to email me your questions and projects. We are here to help you. So, uh, all right, in case you don't have the full picture, so we are, uh, we are having uh, for, uh, we are having a series of webinars, including this one. I'm I'm having two webinars each week on rolling basis. So that means uh, if you missed the one on Tuesday, don't worry. Come back next Tuesday. Contents are identical. So the two webinars hosted by me are primarily designed for people that only have little experience about carbon fiber in general, um, or you only have to use carbon fiber for some specific applications, and you want to explore more potential of this material. Um, if that describes you, this is the right place. In other words, if you already know what to expect in terms of carbon fiber and you want to dig more into the details of practice, um, then we'll be Johnny and Mike. They will cover a wide range of topics that you might interest. I believe Johnny and Mike. I believe Johnny and Mike, uh, they will cover a wide range of topics that BB Johnny and Mike. Okay, let's come back to our webinar. So today's topic will be uh, so okay let's move uh let's finish this part uh like i said if you are uh interested in some other application and the upselling of our product you can go to and johnny and mike uh, they will be uh more than happy to help you out so okay let's come back to our webinar uh uh for today so today's topic will be uh more focused on uh residential application of cfrp so if you are interested in uh how cfrp is used in commercial projects so that will be on thursday i will be br briefly talking about how cfrp des is designed to achieve various structure strengthening goals uh, at the same time on thursday uh, but nevertheless both webinars are talking about the same material so the only the only differences are uh how we use them and the, the complexity of the design so i basically have five topics to cover for today uh, i will use a lot of pictures so i personally feel this is a great way to show you guys where and how we can use carbon fiber for residential projects um, so let me first introduce our company and some basic facts about uh, cfrp in general so uh, we originally started our uh, business in the States, and we have been a dedicated uh, carbon fiber manufacturer in the States for decades. And now we become an independent division of AGD products, so which, uh, which is a, a trusted name in the basement renovation industry. So Rhino has been focusing on concrete crack repair and the structural strengthening, and we work actively, actively within the industry to make sure that we provide the best service uh, to our customer. And of course, uh, we are the member of iCry, BHA, and ACI. So uh, then let's briefly talk about some easy facts about carbon fiber or, uh, or fiber reinforced polymers such as uh, Kevlar, glass fiber, and rami. So uh, in general, they are extremely strong in terms of tensile strength. So Rhino provides CFRP with different densities and wave patterns. Uh, the two major types we are providing for residential projects are uh, 400 GSM unidirectional carbon fiber and 560 GSM bidirectional carbon fiber. The 400 GSM unidirectional carbon fiber only gives tensile strength in one direction, but it allows for the concentrated density of fiber that provides maximum longitudinal tensile potential. So use unidirectional CFRP when any isotropic stress condition is observed. Uh, that means if you see a boat war condition, that's the uh, right place to use unidirectional carbon fiber. Uh, and as the name suggested, for bidirectional carbon fiber, uh, it gives tensile strength in both directions. So it can be applied for like more general scenarios, such as uh, uh, staff crack repair or any kinds of like general uh, concrete or uh, block wall repair. So uh, for tensile properties, 
So those are the numbers that engineers will need for their design. So I guess you don't have to worry about those numbers for typical residential projects. So what you need to do is follow the, follow the instructions that come within the package. It should give you enough strength if you follow the spacing requirement. But you are always welcome to contact us, contact us uh, for more specific design. So, okay, let's, let's move to our next topic. Uh, traditional foundation repair and Rhino's proposal. So let, let's first look at uh, two traditional methods for very common foundation issue. Um, uh, both will repair. So the, the first one is uh, the, power, the power beam or steel girder, depending on how you call it. Uh, you must have seen this if you are working in the residential foundation repair or waterproofing industry. So I have listed some disadvantages of this method here. So for example, it is relatively expensive. So the concentrated pressure at the connection will twist the flange of the floor joist over here. Uh, another big issue that uh, bothered me a lot is that it takes extra space in the foundation and that will decrease your property value. Uh, and here, here is the uh, okay. Uh, here is another method we might use to fix the problem: the wall tie back. So as you can see here, it requires ex exterior excavation. So the steel panel, the steel panel installed here only held a small part of the wall. So this might end up with concrete block damage where the panel is installed, or or uh, the 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 glue damage in other place. Um, and here's the Rhino's patent proposal. So we run a super strong uh, unidirectional carbon fiber uh, from top to bottom. So at the top, uh, we anchor and fasten the carbon fiber into the sail plate using a steel bracket and screws. So you don't have to worry about twisting the floor joist or take up extra space. You, you, can, you can do basically whatever you want after it cures. So uh, at, at the bottom, we anchor the system into the concrete footer using the carbon fiber paint. Uh, and now we, we have created an efficient and strong composite system that can secure your boat wall in place to resist further hydrostatic pressure. So this is our foundation corner repair solution. Uh, uh, this is the uh, foundation corner repair solution we proposed. So you basically run on straps horizontally from top to bottom to stabilize the structure. So this method can be applied to like any foundation wall with the uh, implant deflection. So for example, if you have a step crack, which is the result of uneven foundation settlement, so you can run horizontal strap like this to strengthen your wall. It's not necessarily to be like installed at the corner. It can be like uh, implant with the wall. As long as the, it's a uh, implant deflection or shear, something like that. All right, so here is an example of exterior corner repair uh, or corner strengthening using the method we just mentioned. Okay, then uh, I'll introduce another very popular uh, Rhino's patent product, concrete crack lock stitching system. So uh, this is a revolutionary carbon fiber product that developed to take full advantage of the carbon fiber's tensile strength. So the special geometry makes sure that the splitting force, excuse me, uh, the, the, the special geometry makes sure that the splitting force exists in the concrete body can fully transfer through the end nodes to the mid flange. So more importantly, it is very easy to install and require no maintenance. So I got a number from a contractor to share with you guys. So uh, typically we sell those stitches uh, in kit and each kit that comes with uh, 120 of those stitches and it costs you $120 in the States. But uh, a general contractor or like a, a contractor in the States charges $75 to $100 per install. So you can see the benefit out of it. And also, you also help the owner save a lot of time and money as well. So there's a huge potential behind this product. That's, that's why it's getting really popular right now. Um, Right, I, I, I have uh, briefly covered our product line. I think I'm going to show you guys how CFRP is applied in practice. So what is the capability of CFRP? So hopefully you can get some idea uh, of your own projects at the end of this session.
Okay, to, to start with, uh, this is this is the pool deck repair project. So concrete crack clock is the uh, those are concrete crack clock. Concrete crack clock is the perfect solution for uh, poor concrete repair. So the contractor first install CCL uh, along the entire length of the crack. So the, the then seal the crack using our paste. After it cures, it's come back another day and do whatever they want uh, from the top layer. So really easy and straightforward, and it works out really well. Um, uh, this is an exterior concrete footer repair project. So as you can see here, the concrete shoes or footer for the arc steel beam have cracks or spoilings due to the enormous amount of pressure from the arc beam. So uh, to yeah to fix that uh, and restore the load bearing capacity of the concrete footer, so we we suggest to restore the concrete profile first using patching compound. Uh, so if it's a small area, you can use our high strength. Uh, anchoring paste. Uh, so if it's a small area, I can use the high strength anchoring paste. If it's a big area, I, I, I truly suggest you to use like, um, like pa patching compounds such as hydraulic cement to like re repack, repatch the, uh, the, the concrete profile. Um, so after you restore the profile and you wrap it around, uh, wrap it up using our bidirectional carbon fiber like this, uh, since it is an exterior repair, so another layer of UV protection is necessary. And here is how it looks like after the repair. So the next one is a very interesting project. So we, we use carbon fiber to correct the uh, construction arrow. So here is the story. So the construction team seems not following the design drawing. Uh, so basically ray bars that were supposed to be embedded inside the concrete retaining wall uh, have stick to the outside. So those ray bars stick to the outside, it's supposed to be embedded into the concrete retaining wall. Um, so uh, so um, it, it, the, the, the problem is, so the basically uh, you have to like, you have to, if you look at the lab to, without the proper ray bar instead of the retaining wall, there's no uh, enough fracture strength over there. So uh, engineer, engineers come up with this plan uh, fairly uh, straightforward. So we use carbon fiber to correct the construction arrow uh, to efficiently solve the problem. So um, basically, they run vertical straps at a spacing and anchor them with horizontal straps at the top and bottom to provide extra fl uh, flexural strength to the retaining wall. And uh, this is how it looks like during the repair work. It's pretty straightforward. Just you can do the surface preparation and put the carbon fiber on. You don't have to like drill holes into the uh, wall, which is uh, really, really difficult to be honest. Um, so there are some other applications as well. So here is, here is an example of seismic strengthening for blasting. Uh, basically, the engineer wants to cover the wall with carbon fiber in a very dense pattern like the picture shown on the left or simply cover the entire area like the one on the right. So the carbon fiber over there will help absorb the tensile waves from blasting and thus protect the structure from damage. Um, the last example I want to share is the basement wall strengthening. So uh, I have mentioned this at the beginning. So you basically run uh, vertical straps uh, to resist out of plan loads, such as the hydrostatic force from the soil backfill. And you run horizontal, uh, you run additional horizontal strap to resist any in plan loading, such as uneven foundation sediments. So, pictures on the right is a uh, semi underground gene. So, the basement wall is slightly taller than uh, our typical residential foundation, but the idea is always the same. So, please notice that what happened. Uh, around the window over there. Um, so this is this is another recommendation we always make to our customers to make sure you wrap along the perimeter of the window opening because any kind of opening in a highly stressed structure such as our basement wall is problematic. So that is why you will see a lot of crack originate from window or door openings and they grow big enough to create an issue. Uh, so those are some interesting projects that I want to share with you guys. So uh, uh, hopefully this can give you some idea for your own projects. 
next, I want to show you guys the uh, how reliability uh, is Rhino system. So we've been uh, we've been constantly working with research institute to make sure we deliver the most effective solution. Um, so this is this is the full structural test we have done with the university. So basically, we went uh, just. So basically, uh, we want to test how much strength we can increase given different uh, CFRP configuration. So now we have our control group, uh, which is a wall that has no carbon fiber at all. Then uh, we have a wall with two straps on the left and four straps on the right. So let's see what happened. So the force is loading. Um, homogeneously from the back using the airbag and then it's pushing the wall outward and you can see uh, how we destroy the wall with carbon fiber on it and then let's jump to the result yeah here's the result if you look at the figure let me just pull out the uh, laser point Uh, yeah, if you look at the figure on the right, so vertical axis represent the force acting on the structure uh, by the airbag. And the horizontal axis is the displacement at the middle height. So as you can see, I've used the blue band uh, to represent the typical hydrostatic force a wall should expect from the soil backfill. So the gray line at the bottom, uh, the gray line at the bottom represents the loading curve for unstrengthened wall. So it will likely fail on its own as time passed by because it merely has the design strength to resist uh, the pressure. However, uh, both, so the green line represents the first setup without any carbon fiber. And if you look at the other two lines over there, uh, the both walls, with straps can easily handle the backfill force. So more importantly, uh, two straps, so two, two strap configuration, if you look at the top ones, can basically triple the strength and uh, compared to the green line. And if you look at the, uh, if, you, if, you, if you increase the number to like four straps per, uh, per setup, is the, uh, the picture on the right, uh, it provides almost eight times stronger system than your original wall. So, uh, but you have to notice that the two strap configuration is more likely to be the one in the practice uh, because four will be like a little bit overkill for a, a typical residential project. Uh, but anyway, you can, you can tell like the reliability of rental system. Uh, last but not least, our product lines. Um, so this graph summarizes some typical scenarios where uh, our product can be applied for residential projects. So you can use you can use Rhino's product for uh, like a general crack repair, uh, corner repair, and uh, block boat wall repair. Of course, uh, like I already discussed, uh, there's uh, the concrete stitching system for like the, uh, the, the foundation floor or uh, garage uh, floor. Um, of course, like I already discussed, there are broad scope of project that carbon fiber product can kick in. Um, so uh, for residential projects, uh, we basically sell our product in kit. So we found that this is the easiest way to do the job. So all you need to do is figure out like what is the issue by yourself or simply just ask us with some pictures. After the plan has been determined, you open the key and finish, work, finish the work. You don't have to worry about like wasting material or lack of components. So of course you just want to, if you just want to like order some specific product, go for it. Uh, we sell them individually as well. So uh, product we have includes the unidirectional carbon fiber, uh, bidirectional carbon fiber, adhesive epoxy that will be used to uh, saturate the uh, uh, saturate the carbon fiber. And we have the injection system, which we have a polyurethane expansion form. And also we have the epoxy, uh, low viscosity epoxy injection resin. Uh, and we also have the high strength anchoring epoxy, which is used for secure the uh, concrete crack locking position. Uh, and uh, and uh, we also have those attachment and accessories like the steel bracket and bolts and screws. 
so kit will be basically uh, different combinations of the individual products uh, I just mentioned, and it looks like the picture on the right. I believe this is the uh, corner wall repair kit, this is the boat wall repair kit, this is the concrete crack lock kit, and uh, this is just a, a general crack repair kit. Um, so that basically basically wrap up today's presentation and. Uh, and uh, if you guys have any questions, please uh, feel free to type them out in the chat session. Um, yeah, I noticed somebody, uh, uh, some folks just kicking uh, halfway through it. So uh, uh, feel free to ask me like uh, uh, any question you want. And I, I would like to like go back a little bit and uh, uh, discuss about it. Yeah, just let me know if you are uh, hang uh, hanging around a little bit and waiting for any uh, questions. Yeah, I see a couple of folks uh, kicking a little bit late. So uh, let me just simply uh, quickly scroll down, let you guys know. So, so here we have like a series of webinars you guys can attend. So make sure you go to our website and sign up for them. Uh, I also have another webinar on Thursday and that will be for like uh, commercial projects. I will be talking about like how we do design and how we apply carbon fiber to commercial projects. And also my colleague Johnny and Mike will be talking about a series of uh, topics uh, in the application side. So they were extremely experienced in carbon fiber application. So make sure you sign up the um, webinar hosted by them. And then it's a little bit of introdu introduction about our uh, company and uh, our carbon fiber product line. We have like basically 400 GSM unidirectional carbon fiber and 560 bidirectional carbon fiber. Those two types are the major carbon fiber we sell for residential projects. Uh, and this is the tensile strength. You don't have to worry about it. If you're just doing a residential project, because we we have all the instruction the uh, in the kit, you just open up the kit and find out the best spacing uh, between straps. You don't have to worry about those numbers. Everything has been designed. And then here's some like a traditional way to uh, fix a boat work condition: steel girder takes time, and you have the risk of uh, twist the uh, floor joist and the uh, tie uh, st a steel tie back you have to do the full excavation and you might end up like damage the block um, yeah this is our proposal for both board condition like run a simple carbon fiber sheet from top to bottom uh, we anchor them on the top and we fasten them at the bottom to to make sure that the carbon fiber can hold the wall in position so this is the corner repair solution we have and you can apply such kind of like horizontal strap for any kind of implant uh, deflection, such as the, uh, the 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 crack due to the vertical crack due to um, or even settlement. This is the just the picture. And, uh, this is our uh, this is the picture of the uh, exterior repair corner repair, and uh, this is the concrete crack lock uh, we have. So uh, fairly easy and straightforward. You just um, cut a, uh, use the using the saw to cut a slot and then put the carbon fiber stitch uh, inside the slot, fill them with the epoxy and that will be strong enough to hold the two uh, splitting concrete together. And here's a picture of application. You can do like fairly straightforward and, and quickly and then come back another day after the cure so you do whatever you want on the top. Uh, and the following just some like pictures to show you uh, uh, what we can do like on the outside of the box, what we can do for like general uh, concrete repair. So here's the here's the uh, uh, the, the exterior patio, um, and here's the concrete footer or concrete shoes. The the spalling over there is really bad. So we 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 first restore the geometry or profile of the concrete footer and wrap it up using the carbon fiber. Then we apply another layer of UV protection. And um, 
this is not a, like we we used to correct the construction error. So like those ray bars, those ray bars over there, it's supposed to be inside of the concrete retaining wall, but like the construction team seems to have a mistake over there, so they stick to the outside. Uh, therefore, there's not enough flexural strength over there to uh, in the uh, in the retaining wall. What we do is like we run vertical straps at a certain spacing, and then we anchor them at the top and bottom. So that will help the wall to restore its design strength or even stronger. Uh, and here's what it looks like during the construction. Pretty straightforward and easy. And here's the blasting reinforcement. So you for like seismic. Uh, strengthening or blasting strengthening, you basically run carbon fiber in a very dense pattern so that you can absorb the tensile waves from the blasting and that will help uh, the, the original structure from being damaged. And this is the underground, uh, underground sim or semi underground uh, gene. And uh, uh, this is slightly taller than our typical residential project, but the, the idea is always the same like you. By vertical, like the, the, the strap is not uh, common for like small residential project. Uh, this is a 24 inch wide uh, unidirectional carbon fiber strap. So why, what, what uh, the typical width you will use for a residential project is like six inch wide. So this is a 24 inch wide. And also you can see like the wrap along, wrap around the window parameter, which gives you uh, a stronger, uh, stronger strength for these local uh, features because any kind of like uh, openings in a load bearing structure like a foundation wall is problematic. So uh, as time as time passed by, it's likely that there's some uh, mini cracks or micro cracks originated from the corner of those windows, and it um, just grow big enough to create an uh, issue. And I, I believe the rest of them, and you guys uh, catch it. It's just the uh, this is the, uh, the the video we do with the uh, lab to show like how how we develop the system, how we test the system to see like uh, the reliability. And you can see like we normal uh, the 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 system end up with like uh, the two straps, like uh, three feet to four feet. Um, this is a three feet to four feet spacing between strap to strap. Usually, will give you like triple uh, three times stronger system so like after you apply the carbon fiber at uh, three feet uh to four feet uh the, the 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 end product will be like three times stronger than your original structure so that will be enough to withstand the backfield soil force so there's no more boat anymore yeah that will be then then will be uh the uh, the product I just introduced. Um, so uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, just type them out in the chat session. I just uh, quickly go through the contents again uh, for those folks. Uh, yeah. If you if you come uh, halfway or at, uh, you come in halfway or it's the end of the session, just feel free to uh, ask me if you have any questions. So I'll, I'll let me just I I can I can go through them again because uh, we're running out of time. But uh, I'll leave my email over there.